it going guys? Welcome back to Basketball Down Under. Today, we are talking about the biggest deal in the 2021 NBA draft. This guy is an absolute sleeper. When this guy was in high school, he was my favorite player to watch. With a 43 and a half inch vertical, is white. He led his team to a state title when he was at high school and is the leading scorer of the whole of Virginia in history. In college, he's averaged 15.5 points per game, 2.7 rebounds, 2.1 assists, shooting 42% from the field. This guy is the most insane steal of this year's NBA draft. If you haven't guessed who it is already, it is none other than Mac McClellan. McClung. What an absolute highlight that kid is. So he's a six foot two guard and he's currently not projected to even be drafted. I am telling you, this kid is gonna get drafted. He's absolutely insane. He's definitely gonna get signed and it's looking like it's gonna be second round if they're not even projecting him to get drafted. But I'm telling you, this kid's an absolute steal. When he was at Georgetown, he really did struggle. I don't know if the coaching management was the best fit for him. But when he moved to Texas Tech, this kid became an absolute clutch machine. On the road, McClung for the win! Oh! In the second half when the games were close, he was absolutely taking over. Mac McClung was absolutely unstoppable. We all knew coming out of high school he could score with like 40 point games multiple times. And we all knew he could dunk out the building with those insane highlights. But no one knew if his game could translate to the college level. And when he went to Georgetown, his draft stock actually dropped tremendously. I don't know if he was secretly fighting an injury or he just didn't get on with the coaches, but he really just didn't click at Georgetown. He wasn't scoring well, he wasn't playing too good. But the last college season, he moved to Texas Tech and boy has that kid been an absolute bucket. Averaging 15 and a half points per game, it's not the most, but for college level, that's pretty solid. Unlike many NBA prospects coming to the NBA, he already has an NBA type body. His body's already filled out and he's ready to go up against grown men. A couple weaknesses that he does have is his three point percentage. He really could increase that just to make him look a little bit better and a bit more appetizing for recruits, especially at that NBA three-point line, which is further back than the college three-point line. He really will need to prove himself to see if he really can shoot that distance consistently. And also on defense, he really just needs to find more urgency and want to play defense and win the ball. Averaging also 2.1 assists, his playmaking also could do with a bit of a lift. As he's only 6'2", he's definitely going to be a point guard. Now, coming off the bench, you can be a scoring point guard, and teams absolutely love that. You need a scoring point guard, someone who can put the ball in the hole off the bench. He could be that guy, but eventually in his career, he doesn't want to be coming off the bench the whole time. He wants to be able to start and facilitate for others, so he really needs to be actively looking for those passes to really make him stand out. In the NBA Combine, he looked fantastic. There were some crazy, crazy dunks of him. We already know he's jumping out the building, and he really put that on display. So if Mack can continue his athleticism, but add a playmaking aspect to him, he'll really be even higher up there in that draft prospect. I really do not understand why he's not even projected to be drafted. I can certainly guarantee that he will be on an NBA Summer League roster. If he does perform well, he will end up on an NBA roster, guaranteed. That kid is just a bucket and they just got to learn. He really will need to show out in that NBA Summer League that he can shoot the ball consistently and he can create for others while also defending and locking down his own player. I can guarantee you as well, every single NBA fan, if they haven't heard of Mac McClellan, will have heard by him by the end of Summer League because he's going to have some absolutely insane, crazy dunks. If that boy gets out on a fast break, you better make sure your eyes are wide open because he is a human highlight reel. I personally see his NBA comparison as Monte Morris from the Denver Nuggets. You might think that's a bit of a weird comparison, but if you actually analyze it, he actually plays the exact same. He's a scoring point guard who doesn't really facilitate too much and he's really put in the game to score. Mac at the college level had a real green light to score and if he gets that in the NBA, he really will look like Monte Morris from the Denver Nuggets. He's probably even more athletic and quicker than Monte Morris, so he's got even more potential to be an even better player. So if Mac can really work on those three things of his three point shooting consistently, his defensive urgency and hustle and his playmaking to take that to the real next level. He seriously will be a threat to the NBA and I can tell you he's going to be picked up. He's definitely going to go in the second round but he's going to be a big steal. Matt McClung, he also needs a couple years to adapt and really work on facilitating his game but he really will become a bucket. They've got athleticism. A lot of their athleticism is natural athleticism and you can't teach that. You are born with natural athleticism and that really can propel you through the NBA. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe, share this with your friends and I'll catch you later.